Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? There was a Taurus in the store yesterday, all the way from Orange County. <laughs> County. Okay. So hello, hello, hello. Sa mga kabayan at kapuso, kapamilya, tsaka kapusod. Okay. <laughs> Here it's kapusod. Okay. From umbilical cord to umbilical cord. All right. So I we do. Uh, I mean, I'm very proud of the Filipino community who's been visiting the store. Oh my God, there are a lot. Okay, I didn't know. Okay, so anyhow, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let's begin your reading. And if you haven't visited the store, and if you are, um, passing by, passing, passing by. Yeah, I can say passing by. Right? <laughs> passing through. Okay. Uh, make sure to say hi. All right, you say hi. I say swipe. Okay. No, there's a lot of holiday gifts that we can uh, that you can check out at uh, at our store. Okay, so let's begin here. I'm wearing the holiday heart, of course. Okay, so do check it out. Uh, it comes with a crystal heart that we will pick for you. We will choose for you. Okay, I'm wearing a size medium. Proud. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. Let me see. For my Taurus, how are you guys? You got the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. You came to the read. First card is the strongest, and this is your card, which only means that. What are we doing? We're putting things on hold. We're trying to... We finish a journey, Knight of Pentacles, and then we reassess. Um, this is the part where what is next? Um, how do we move from this in the scenario that you're in, in the relationship or in life alone? A lot of reassessing, a lot of thinking, a lot of planning and strategizing with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is very significant for any kind of uh, read because what we need to understand with the Knight, it is not slow. It just finish a journey, okay? That's why it takes time for it to start all over again. Now, the Knight of Wands just keeps going, going, going. They never stop. So this is a healthy way of putting your life right now. Normally, you would stop things. Like, that's how, that's how I deal with things. I have to put a stop to everything and then broom, broom, broom again, okay? Three of Wands is that part where you're thinking about the relationship, uh, right? With the Three of Wands, like, what are they thinking about? What do they want? And how do they want to proceed with this? You have high expectation, Taurus. The Three of Wands is very optimistic, which is good. In the times like this, you know, we take juicy fruit gum. Okay, <laughs> Times like this. <laughs> times like this. All right. Not sponsored. Mm -hmm. Um... Times like this, you need to uh, you need to be as optimistic so that you can get through the situation every day. You know, so one day at a time, as I would say. And you're here. I feel like you're taking some time out, a chill pill over here. Um, but there's always something from afar from you that you're wondering what they're doing. So you've been constantly thinking about them, and things has been stagnant with the hangman. The hangman is also a traitor. So um, someone could have betrayed your trust in the relationship, and. I feel like this is someone who wants to voice out, um, they wants to talk to you, okay? So the hangman wants to air out something to you. That's not you. This is uh, receiving the enlightenment. So you're just waiting for them to talk to me. I'm just here and I'm willing to listen. Talk to me. Tell me you're... No, there's, there's always like <laughs> a segue of song here. Because <laughs> okay. in, that's in my past life, which is like two months ago. I used to sing. In a, in a bar. <laughs> but they closed the bar. <laughs> After I sang. Four of Swords over here. Shows it. Look at that. See? You guys are trying to make peace, make amends. Um, this is the first card for Aries. So it might be connected with Aries. Um, and you guys are just say, trying to say here, like, agree to disagree. We're both difficult to each other. Make amends, make peace, heal from the situation. Situation. Okay. So let's make peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know they say make peace, uh, make make love not war. For me, make money not love not war. <laughs> Taurus, just love it all. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I would do. Make money, not love. I mean, who got time? Who got time for that? Love later. Love later. Okay. That's what my grandma told me. Okay. <laughs> my grandma told me. Mm. So Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands, um, it shows that you have this um, passion connected to this person. Three of Wands to the Ace of Wands, expectation that the two of you can resolve it. Four of Swords, and then the two of you can be back in the same uh, Four of Wands, meaning back together. 
it doesn't look like a reconciliation that you're gonna put an effort, but it does look like um, I'm, I don't know if I have a dual cam. I forgot. Okay, because it's making a noise, guys. Ace of Wands over here with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, they're not. Uh, I'm not sure um, if you're gonna put an effort, but it does feel like you just want it, but it doesn't mean you're gonna do it. Okay. Yep, you're not. You're definitely holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So the Four of Pentacles is the part where you're trying to protect yourself. So you were hurt, Four of Swords and Four of Pentacles, by this person. But the two of you did this to yourself. Okay, it takes two to tango. The Moon and the Five of Swords. And something just transpired during the recent lunar eclipse. Or in the next five months, something's about to happen. And what's about to happen is a little bit aggressive on their end, on your end, Five of Swords. So we got a calmer TITS. Yes. All right. With the Five of Swords and the Moon card, it shows here that someone wants to reveal pain, agony, and hurt. So be ready for this one. Five of Swords can be very vindictive. They can stir the pot and you don't even know what's coming. So be careful. Be watchful. Because Eclipse is manifest in the next five months, okay, energetically. Mm-hmm. You have the Two of Swords and the Devil. Mm. So there could have been some addiction, hateful words that are going to be exchanged. Now, I, I see here the hateful word will come uh, will come about around January, if you're asking me. Because um, uh, they cannot find a place to forgive you. I don't know what happened. Um, but it takes two to tango. So you probably also don't see yourself, I'm not going to forgive them. So this is becoming now either a blame game or a squid game. I always say relationship has two ways. It's either you start to blame each other or you start playing squid game. So ask yourself, if this is a squid game, who would you be? <laughs> I would definitely be... Um, who would you be? I don't know who to pick. I'd probably be the crazy. You know, the one who hugged <laughs> and then jump off. <laughs> so, cause it, see, that's, I feel like that's how the relationship is. Because the two of you are shackled together. Mm -hmm. You remember then they were stepping on the glass and then she just hugged. Yeah, I feel like um, if this doesn't end nicely, the two of you will drag each other because there's five of swords here in a lot of fight and argument. This is what happens during eclipse time because we're eclipsing people out. So until we've dealt, we've dealt with the karma, it really comes to surface. So this is needed in order to find closure and to end it. Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords. They're coming with a conversation. And it's not going to be a nice conversation with the Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords. They will, okay, Three of Swords, talk to you and message you pretty soon. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. Make sure to check out the Taurus collection. And for everybody who's been visiting the store, we're all Trinians. There's so many Trinians going to the store. Love, 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 love you guys. All right. And if I'm not here, I'll be at the store. And at the same time, this holiday season, we are going to be open seven days a month. Seven days, no, seven days a week. <laughs> so I decided to literally burn myself out because I love you guys. So make sure to check us out on um, basically seven days, Monday to Sunday. But we do have holiday hours. So just check it out in the... Um, in our website or on um, if you look for Eat Read Love store. And you can also see me on Instagram at Salbidora making a full out of myself. I haven't done any dancing videos because I don't have abs yet. I only have flabs and I'm not, I probably will get judged for my holiday weight. It came earlier. It started February. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. Let's see what's the message that they're about to give you. Bye, guys.